my desk is a little bit messy today. Uh, today's video is about an art hop I'm doing over with Peg Robinson. Um, she has a YouTube channel that I will link in the description below. I'm doing an art hop with a number of ladies actually, and all of their videos will be uh, linked below. Um, at least I think at this moment that's how it's going to work. Um, the um, art hop, as you notice in the title, is the theme is primitive. A hashtag art hop primitive. And so I'm going to do a cute little piece, I think, of primitive art. Um, and I just wanted to come on camera first to explain what I was doing before I just all speed through the process. But um, I have, I guess by accident, um, found myself creating mem memorial pieces of art in clay or resin, uh, mostly for friends and family whose pets have passed. I also do memorial watercolor pet portraits. Again, this all happened sort of by happenstance. And I was working on some samples for my sister whose dog is passing. And uh, when at some point she, she already knows she wants me to do some memorial pieces. And um, I won't go into the long explanation of it, but she has a collection of heart rocks that mean something to her and her dog. And... Um, she said, can we make something like that out of his ashes with maybe resin or clay? I said, of course we can. So this was the sample that I came up with, actually. Oops. And this had some um, things in it uh, in the clay to uh, simulate um, ashes, also some glitter, and a bunch of different kinds of polymer clay, including some translucent clay. It's um, coated with um, some gloss glaze. Um, it's all Fimo, I believe. And um, so I have this sample piece, and now I'm thinking, okay, she loved it, so we're going to make one for her um, when the time is right. In the meantime, I think I want to do more to this sample and create a little piece of primitive art with it. I have a variety of things on my desk, including some distressed copper, um, some um, distressed cheesecloth, string, a piece of muslin, various charms and beads and craziness, some of my um, decorated sticks, some of my painted feathers, some of my dead canvas patches. So I think we're going to create a little piece of art with this that could either be hung on the wall. I have a al little altar table here in my art room. I could put it there. Um, I, do, I want to do more with this. A pr little primitive piece, unfinished, raw, um, just like it looks like it got pulled from nature. Yeah. All right, so let's do that. I'm going to speed forward through my process, and I'll be right back.
Okay guys, what do you think? I love it. I could picture it just, it has to dry. Now I used E6000, which you really need to let set for 12 to 24 hours to dry completely. I used this glue because there's lots of different layers of um, things, non-porous things, heavy things on this piece of little piece of art and I really want it to stick so I used E6000. It's really the best glue for this kind of thing but how much do you love this? I could totally see it on a little piece of um, uh, distressed wood or I'm getting the you know I really want a knot or something right there on the front of the heart so let's do that while we're talking. Um, I could see it on a little piece of distressed wood or um, on the front of a journal cover that's maybe made out of a really old distressed um, um, book boards, front and back book boards. My friend Jerry Bellini who has recycled parts for art uh, Etsy shop sells that kind of thing. Um, I could see it just laying on a table like this because it's just the kind of piece that you want to look at and touch and pick up and that's another reason why you want to use um, a glue like E6000 because if people are going to be picking it up and touching it you don't want stuff to fall out so I'm gonna just I want a little knot on the front of that string so I'm just gonna take some more of this string that I had I tied it in a knot like a few times I'm gonna unravel the ends so they're like unraveled <laughs> yeah yeah I like that and so I'm gonna just glue that on the front Um, you definitely, if you're going to do a memorial piece of clay with um, your pet's ashes or something in it, uh, dried flowers from a funeral, um, this is definitely something that you could make and decorate it after the heart part is made um, with things that you remind you of them. Maybe a piece of cloth from, if it's for a human, a piece of cloth from one of their clothing or, um, I'm going to just shove some more glue down here. Um, or you could use, if it's a pet, you could use their dog collar, or their blanket, a toy, something like that. I want to just shove some more glue down here so we can make sure it stays. And I'm going to use my pokey tool. Now this does, glue does dry clear, so no worries in that regard. Um, so there we go. I love it. I love it. I love it. Do we, are we still on camera? Let's see. There we go. I used some of the painted feathers I've been making, the sticks wrapped in embroidery floss, the faux jewel beetle wings, which are made out of um, fake fingernails, painted with black nail polish first, and then you use some sort of iridescent nail polish on it. Uh, then I got this one, but it's called by Born Pretty. I don't know what the color is, but it's this metallic. It looks just like the jewel beetle wings. Um, I make these kind of little embellishments. If you've been following me on Instagram or Twitter or anything like that, then you've seen these and kind of probably wondered, okay, that's cute and all, but what the heck she's going to do with it? This is the kind of thing you do with it. Um, these cute little pieces of primitive art. I just love them. So that's it. I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do. Please check out the video description uh, here for the other video links and channel links. Don't forget to also look at my link list that's down there. If you click on the one link, it'll take you to a list of all the places you can find me all over the internet. My Etsy store, my website, all that stuff. Uh, my happy mail address is, is down there and everything else. So check out the video description. Please like, share, and subscribe. And above all, don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.